At the end of the fermentation process, beer is still very hazy. Beer turbidity comes from suspended particles in beer which can include yeast and other microorganisms, protein polyphenol complexes, carbohydrate particles and other sediments. To achieve good beer clarity, different techniques can be applied such as sedimentation, centrifugation or beer filtration. Cold beer is typically filtered after the aging process as it is being transferred from the uni tank or aging tank to the bright beer tank. Beer filtration involves the process of passing a beer containing solid particles through a medium with small pores to capture and prevent these particles from passing through. Although there are many different filtration mechanisms and filter types, in this video we are going to focus on the process of sheet filtration. Unlike popular plate and frame filters, sheet filters have no frames and consist only of plates and sheets held together in a casing. A single sheet is inserted between each plate in a filter. Each filter has a stationary head plate with product in and product outsides clearly labeled. Adjacent to a stationary head plate is the first end plate, followed by several intermediate filter plates and the second end plate placed just before a closing mobile plate. A closing screw or a spindle is used for filter tightening. To better understand how the sheet filter works, it is important to make a distinction between inflow and outflow plates. Even though all filter plates are identical, with the exception of two end plates, they are recognized as either in or outflow plates based on their orientation within the filter. Each filter plate has four ears located at the corners of the plates. Two of those ears have gaskets and the other two are without the gaskets. If the plate's ear without the gasket is positioned on the inflow side of the filter, that plate is then classified as an inflow plate. Conversely, if the plate's ear without the gasket is located on the outflow side of the filter, it is categorized as an outflow plate. When placing plates in the filter, their positions should alternate. Filter sheets perform the actual beer filtration. It is also important to properly place filter sheets between the plates. Same as with filter plates, the orientation of the filter sheets changes with each consecutive sheet. Each filter sheet has a rough side and a smooth side. Beer should always flow in through the rough side and flow out through the smooth side of the filter sheet. Therefore, the rough side of the filter sheet should always be oriented towards the inflow plate and the smooth side should always be oriented towards the outflow plate. Before equipment setup, inspect all filter plates, gaskets and filter sheets that will be used. After properly placing filter plates and sheets and tightening the filter, equipment rinsing and sanitation can start. Filter inlet side is connected to the hot liquor tank at hot water at 82 degrees Celsius or 180 degrees Fahrenheit is flushed through the filter for at least 20 minutes. Water temperature coming out of the filter is checked with a handheld thermometer. Once the filter sanitation is complete, the hoses carrying the unfiltered beer from the aging tank into the filter and the filtered beer from the filter to the bright beer tank are connected to the product in and product outside of the filter. To reduce the oxygen pickup during the filtration operation, transfer hoses, beer filter and the bright beer tank are all purged with carbon dioxide gas for several minutes. Prior to filtration, the CO2 pressure in the bright beer tank is set to about 10 psi and the fermentation vessel pressure is adjusted to a few psi higher than that in order to move the beer from one vessel to another. At this point, the filtration process can start. Beer flows into the filter sheet through the inflow plate, which always faces the rough side of the filter sheet. Beer flows out of the filter sheet through the outflow plate, which always faces the smooth side of the filter sheet. 
beer should always flow into the rough side of the filter sheet and out the smooth side. Filter sheets can be used for rough beer filtration, polishing filtration and final filtration for microbiological removal. They are available in various grades or filter pore sizes for the required level of clarity. Larger particles are retained on the sheet surface, whereas smaller particles are caught within depth media. That means that filter sheets work both as surface and depth filters and can have a zeta potential for absorptive effects. By changing filter pore size and the number of filter sheets used within the filter, the final clarity of the product can be controlled. At the end of the filtration process, the filter can be opened and the sheets can be removed. Once all filter sheets are out, inlet and outlet valves, pipes, side glasses and filter plates are rinsed with hot water. After taking the filter apart, all filter plates and fittings are soaked in all-purpose brewery wash solution for thorough cleaning.